All right, Shalom uh, to you, Akiyam. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praises and the honor and the glory unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakaku Dash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Grand Millstone, and peace and salutations to you, Akiyam. Um, you know, before I play this video, I just want to, you know, bring out a scripture and speak a little bit about this. Now, the title of this video it says Black Students, okay, which we understand, okay, that that's a byword. But an Israelite student charged with assault for playing dodgeball. Okay, now we know, man, okay, that these nations don't like us, especially Esau, okay? And so with all the, you know, unjust things that are being done to our people, um, you know, the Lord Yahabba Shemoshai is going to have us rule over these nations, man, and we will get justice, man, okay? But before that, okay, I want to read the scripture. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 5. It says, For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? That's right, man. Nobody cares about us. Now, this is, okay, a young Jake, okay, a young Israelite boy, man, okay, being charged with an assault for playing dodgeball. Now, I'm going to play this video, but I want to finish the scripture. It says, For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? That's right, man. Now, a lot of, you know, these things happening to our people. Okay, we understand that Esau hates us and so on and on. But all this happened because we, for, uh, we pretty much went, okay, on the opposite side of what the Lord Jehovah Shemashai wanted us, man. Okay, we turned our back, okay, to the Lord. Okay, and we did not keep his commandments. And so right now we're dealing with all these uh, punishments, you know, as some would say, you know, that we got to go through in order, you know, for us to understand, okay, or to come back to our natural ways, man, to, you know, fully, um, you know, understand that we were the ones who went off, okay, um, acknowledge our sins, man, okay, now, that doesn't take away, okay, from what age, okay, is going to receive these punishments. Now, the Lord said, what, that all of us are going to have to go through it, man. And not even that, but when our people, okay, ask for the Lord, Yahweh shall to be put on the cross, okay, our people said, let his blood be upon us and our children. And so right now, we're dealing, okay, with all the curses, okay, that is, you know, pretty much befell upon us. Okay, the children of Israel. But going back to the scripture, okay, going and saying, Who shall be thee, okay, or who is going to ask how thou doest? Nobody. Okay, nobody gives a shit about us, man. Okay, and this video is an example of that, man, okay? And I'm going to continue to read verse 6. It says, Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord. Thou art gone backwards, okay? You have gone backwards. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am weary with repenting, okay? So the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, has said that because we went off, we turned our backs, okay? We've gone backwards, okay? He is going to punish us, man. And he says, and I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children and will destroy my people since they return not from their ways okay and this right here i'm gonna play it now to show you okay this is just a small portion of what our people gotta deal with man regardless of the age wednesday bryce was charged with aggravated assault i couldn't believe it this is on top of a one-day suspension which occurred right after the incident this is a kid that was playing on the playground with his friends. I tried not to let it get to this point. This mother claiming her son had been hurt before and that she reported it to the school. My son was hit twice in the face of the ball previously due to this. and the This story is insane and ridiculously flawed. This is 10-year-old Bryce who has not even hit fifth grade yet. And now he's being charged with aggravated assault. Seriously. His mother received a call from Wayne County Juvenile Court, at first glance within this story through my own research is dodgeball. Dodgeball is being thrown around repeatedly. But as the root reports 
It's not necessarily dodgeball. It's a different sort of dodgeball. One where the balls are thrown in the air. A police report was filed and it entails another student was struck in the face with a ball. He has a medical condition that makes head injuries especially dangerous. Furthermore, the police report filed after the incident stated Lindley intentionally threw the ball at the boy's face. The child suffered injuries from the blow, sustaining facial tissue damage to his face. He had a black eye and a bruised nose and a concussion. There's so many questions I have. I'll get into that in a second. The route would continue. The mother's son had been targeted before. My son was hit twice in the face with a ball previously due to this. The child apologized to my son, and my son said, Mom, it's okay. We're still going to be friends. So what changed? Why is Bryce being charged? Well, we think we know why. Could you connect the dots? Per Yahoo, a 2018 report by the Watchdog Government Accountability Group found that black students in grades K-12 through are far more likely to be disciplined at school, whether through suspension or referral to law enforcement, than kids of other races. And according to the New York Times, during the 2012 school year, black students were suspended five times as often as whites were, and little has changed since then. But it does not stop there. Even further than that, several northern states, including Illinois, Michigan, and Wisconsin, rank above Arkansas in the black-white suspension gap. And a recent study on California schools from the Brookings Institution finds evidence of this gap despite a statewide initiative to reduce suspensions. What we do with the Young Turks is call out the grave injustices happening in America and throughout the world. This is another one, another notch on the belt for injustice. What I need everyone to do is go to this page. This is our call to act. Race. You know, there you have it. You know, as you can see, you know, that our people are being punished, man. <laughs> you know, regardless of the age, like I said. But this is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. It says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing... Thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. Okay? The Lord is going to forget our children. And it says, As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore, I will change their glory into shame. Okay? And you see that happening right now. Okay? You see that happening right now with our people as a whole. Okay? With our people as a whole. I just wanted to show you about this that video. And until next time, you have a shalom.